Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is a cold, crisp October morning here in Pensacola. And if you haven't been following along with the vlog, well, the last two, the hurricane and me and Samantha got married. Feels a little, feels a little different here on the finger. But uh, I gotta tell y'all a story, man. This was a doozy of a story. So let's get to this. See, we're still scrambling here in Pensacola trying to get rid of all the hurricane debris because Hurricane Sally did a number on us and this is where the story starts. See, the last two videos was up into like the day or before the wedding. So our power was out, water was out, trash was everywhere, everybody was scrambling just to get out of their houses. And we had this barge problem. Well, Pensacola has been decimated by this like random 22 barges that got loose from the unknown company. I don't want to say their name because I don't want to get sued because it seems like they're probably going to like sue everybody. I don't know. And everybody's suing them. I don't want to get caught up in that. But it pretty much destroyed the Three Mile Bridge. You can't get from Pensacola to Gulf Breeze to the beach. Like, not from here. Like, it, it's just not happening. Like, I don't know what's going on over there with, like, the economy and stuff because, like, they're cut off from society. <laughs> like, Gulf Breeze, Pensacola Beach, you've got to go all the way around to try to get there. It's nuts. But we were able to get the entire gang together, power or not, to make this wedding happen. Me and Samantha, Samantha was just like ready to ball her eyes out because she just, you know, nothing went as planned. And here we are, all the family is in our house because nowhere in town's got power. All the hotels, Airbnbs canceled. We're staying in the camper and Craig's the only one that's got power. And that's the recap up until now. And uh, we thought we were gonna have to power the wedding venue with generators, like our own generators. And to top that, the county put a seven o'clock curfew on us. So we didn't even know if it was actually gonna happen. You know, put like $8,000 on the ground for a wedding and you don't even know if it's gonna happen up until the moment before. But we had an awesome wedding videographer, Ron Middleton, Crossroads Media RG1 Productions. No, I have an audience. This makes I know, but I'm just asking you a question. This is okay. one you can answer. So, like, how do you think Jack did with this, like, relaxation level of the first Very order? bad. Very bad. <laughs> he, was, like, he was so nervous. That's that's nervous, Jack. But I told you why. It's because he didn't have a camera in his hand. As soon as I handed him the camera, what happened? He, he lit right up and relaxed. <laughs> I think the hardest part is them telling me what to actually do, and I don't know what to do. When people tell me what to do, I just kind of freeze up. I swear somebody was getting married today, and I thought somebody was working. No, no, no. We're doing, we're doing, uh, uh, we're doing shot lists on Pinterest. So that's his uh, stuff if you ever need him. Kept it lighthearted. He was able to video behind the scenes of everything I was doing and, and, and his wife did what Samantha was doing because Samantha forbid me to have a camera in my hand. I mean, who would have thunk that? But you know, I still snuck a few things in. I mean, we kept it lighthearted. We tried to have a positive attitude about the whole thing. <laughs> Oh man. So we're down here to take our wedding pictures because this is where me and Samantha met right here. But look at the trees down. Like look at the I don't know if you can see. Over there is an absolute mess. That's where we parked the first night and we went in here, but where we actually met, there's a giant tree. We're doing this. Woo! And, you know, to, uh, to really like get us one last jab, you know, life just had to give one last jab to us. It started raining, sprinkling before the ceremony. But then, right before the ceremony happened, it stopped.
I was shaking. Quivering. I know. I couldn't Did you see? Her. Oh my goodness. I don't know. The song and walking wow. down got me. I was like, like my mouth was all shaking. The anticipation I was like, baseball, baseball, baseball. <laughs> I mean, like literally to the moment. And for like that 10 or 15 minutes while Joey was giving the speech, it was dry as a bone. And then moments later, it started sprinkling again. It was like it was meant to be. It just summed up the entire story. You know, it's it's pretty hard to explain the whole getting married thing like to somebody that hasn't done it. Like the 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 emotions that are running through, your family's there, your friends are there, everybody's happy for you. You got so many questions running through your head and then finally for it to happen, you know, you just can't explain it. It I mean, if you really think you're not going to tear up after years leading up to, this, to the moment, you got another thing coming. Like, it was, it was like one of those, like, you're fighting back your emotions and hoping nobody, like, asks you to speak because then everybody's going to know because, you know, your, your voice is going to be crackling and, like, you, you just can't play tough guy anymore. Like, it, it's just like one of those situations that just overcomes you but everybody had an awesome time we had some great speeches and we were able to get a wedding video for us personally which i may wanted to do this to document all the years coming up to this point uh, throughout this vlog throughout this youtube channel and i want to share with you guys out there our experience and you know if i only have one thing to look back on on this whole youtube channel is I can, can document our young years and our life to look back on and be like, you know what? That was us. That's what happened. And I think that's so cool. Even the part where our wedding cake started leaning because it was so humid and hot out, that even made something cool about it. Everything in this wedding process made it a cool story. I mean, nobody will have a wedding picture sitting on top of a downed tree probably in the history of Pensacola for a long time. Like nobody will have a dead squirrel in their wedding photos. Like, I mean, <laughs> and, and to think about how many squirrel hunting videos I made on this channel. Like everything added up just right. So congratulations to Jack and Samantha. And I want y'all to stop right here, right now, and shoot this video a big thumbs up if y'all think that this was the best catch of Jack's life. Okay, shoot it a thumbs up, because I do. I ain't seen him catch much of nothing lately, but ain't, you know. To where the adventure and where we were supposed to be in life, like, it just added up. All the trials and tribulations said, if you can punch through that wall and you keep trying, you can accomplish the mission. And that's what happened. And to top it off, there was no power anywhere, like, around, like, we had no power at the house to go home to for, like, a honeymoon night. Like, we had... Like, there was, there was nothing. So Samantha's dad dropped us off at a Airbnb in Pensacola in East Hill. Your, your dress is so dirty. <laughs> they were super cool people and they understood our situation. So dad dropped us off at the Airbnb for our wedding night. I mean, this, that's just, that's interesting, you know, now that I look back on it. And uh, we got up the next morning and went back to the house. And the power came on. The power came on. I mean, like, how cool is that? That the power came on the next, like, when we got back to the house. Check it out. We got power. We got power. Woo-hoo. Woo. <laughs> Finally, it is 6.28 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday. This is ending the. This is ending the hurricane story. That's right. Hurricane it, wedding. Coronavirus story. This is. This has been a full story. Yeah, been crazy. We're still together. Newly married. <laughs> a long time with me. Yeah. Yeah. 
But that's it guys, that's it for this vlog. I had to share with y'all our experience and like to document it and this, this was such a unique experience with the videos leading up to this video. The hurricane, the whole COVID thing and, and how we just kept trying and we finally got it done. And now Samantha's got me renovating the house again. So it's uh, eight o'clock at night and Samantha got the wild hair to tear all the tile out of here. I'll start demo. I guess they say happy wife, happy life. I'm just learning that. We're gonna vlog that too, I guess. This is just all swinging this channel, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.